10 World's Smallest Animals You Won't Believe Exist When you talk about the world's biggest animals, it's easy to shout names like sharks and whales because you see them. But what about the world's smallest animals? Would you be able to see it even if you knew where to look? Stick around and be amazed. Number 10. Pink Fairy Armadillo One thing this little fellow has in common with its namesake, fairies, is that they're rarely seen by humans. The pink fairy armadillo is the smallest known species of armadillo. The pink comes from the color of its bony armor shell, which is a result of the network of blood vessels underneath. It's so small, it can fit in your hand. They're approximately 13 centimeters in length. This desert-adapted mammal is native to central Argentina and can be found in sandy plains, scrubby grasslands, and dunes. And like moles, they spend the vast majority of their life underground. Because of this, they've adapted sharp claws that help them navigate the underground quickly and easily. Their choice of habitat also acts as a safe place from different threats. What amazes people about this tiny creature are their unique navigation skills. They find their way around directly from touching and hearing their surroundings. How cool is that? That's pure talent, don't you think? Number 9. Madame Berth's Mouse Lemur Another nocturnal critter like the armadillo is Madame Berth's mouse lemur. It's the smallest known primate in the world. It's not longer than 9.2 centimeters and weighs only 1.1 ounces. Unlike our little pink fairies, mouse lemur has huge eyes that are equipped with a taptum lucidum which allows them to see amazingly in total darkness. They can only be found on dry deciduous forests, known as the Karindi Forest, of the southwestern portion of the island of Madagascar. They feast on insects, nectar, gum, buds, leaves, and flowers. And during dry seasons, they eat insect feces to survive. Isn't that yummy? The things we do to survive. And because of their small appearance, they're preyed on by a lot of animals. And sadly, they're facing extinction due to recent massive deforestation. Number 8. Pygmy Rabbit Could you imagine a rabbit that can fit in the palm of your hand? Well, that kind of rabbit does exist in the real world. It's the smallest species of rabbit in North America. Believe it or not, it measures only 12 inches from nose to tail. It doesn't weigh more than a pound at full maturity. It's slate gray with a pinkish tinge in the winter, but eventually turns a brownish color in the summer. It also experiences the disadvantages of being small. That's why they live in plants and bushes to hide from predators. They're the only rabbits that dig their own burrows. These little critters entirely rely on sagebrush for food, safety, and shelter. Must suck to be tiny. Number 7. Speckled Padloper Tortoise Let's all agree, small animals are cute, right? I mean, just look at this tortoise. Also known as the speckled cape tortoise, it's the smallest species in the world. Their length varies from 2.4 to 4 inches depending on the gender. Female speckled padloper tortoises are bigger than the males. The name comes from the hundred speckles it has on the orange-brown flattened shell. They can be found in Africa, in areas of Namibia, and western South Africa. They're herbivores and feed exclusively on plants. And if you're thinking of keeping them as pets, you're in luck. They don't require a lot to be comfortable. Just try to make sure their enclosure imitates their natural habitat as much as you can. A sandy enclosure with rocks, wood stumps, and plants makes the best decoration for an enclosure. For space, five and a half square feet is fit for a single female adult. During warmer parts of the summer and colder parts of the winter, they also eat less. So it's a nice perk, but still make sure to give them food. As always, do thorough research beforehand. Number 6. Etruscan Shrew If there's an animal you can't watch a horror movie with, it would definitely be the Etruscan Shrew. They're the most fearful animals in the world. They're easily startled and will jump, faint, or drop dead at any sudden noise. But that's not what got them on this list. These mammals are the smallest living terrestrial mammal, measuring about 3.5 centimeters and weighing just 2 grams. They're fast in everything they do and constantly in motion. This is what made these mammals have the highest metabolic rate than any other mammal and they have to eat 80 to 90% of their body weight in food daily to survive. This is the reason why it eats anything available, from insects to crops. But not everything about this shrew is small. 
scientists have confirmed that its brain is the largest in ratio to its body weight of all animals. Larger in ratio than even humans. They're also highly venomous. Yeah, that's right. If there's a fight between a shrew and a snake, the shrew would definitely win. It's been researched that one shrew stores enough venom to claim the lives of 200 mice. Small, but dangerous. It's the living example of Fast and the Furious, right? Pun intended. Number 5. Bee Hummingbird Who said being little means weakness? For this tiny bird, being little is a flex that other birds would love. They're exceptionally fast critters, flying 25 to 30 miles per hour. On average, it beats its wings 80 times a second, which helps generate enough heat to keep its tiny body warm. It has a regal honor of its own that would make Stuart Little jealous. It's considered to be the smallest bird in the entire world. Knowing already that most hummingbirds are small, I'm sure you're trying to imagine how small this one could be. Well, let's start by knowing that these birds are comparable in size to a bumblebee. Yeah, that's right. That's where it gets its name. The female bee hummingbirds are 6.1 centimeters long and weigh approximately 2.6 grams. While males are a bit smaller, they stand out with dazzling head feathers that have proven irresistible to the less colorful female bee hummingbirds. They're the show-offs of the family. Number 4. Kitty's Hog-Nosed Bat Far, far away in the forested mountains of western Thailand, not far from the Burmese border, there's a cave where a lone Buddhist monk known as Old Abbot lives. The Old Abbot has an unusual neighbor that became the interest of the whole world. That's Kitty's Hog-Nosed Bat, sometimes called the Bumblebee Bat. It's the world's smallest mammal, just 29 to 33 millimeters in length, weighing around 2 grams. They're known for their distinctive pig-like snout and its reddish-brown or gray coat. But these tiny mammals seem to have a load of secrets. Why would they choose to live with the old Abbot? It's said they don't like unnecessary attention. That's why they live in one of the world's most remote and partly politically unstable regions. They're active at dawn and dusk, using echolocation to navigate their way. Number 3. Pygmy Marmoset It's cute, isn't it? Just one look at it and you'll start imagining an amazing time you'd have together if it was your pet. And we don't blame you. This monkey captured the hearts of many humans. The pygmy marmoset is the world's smallest monkey, fitting in an adult human's hand, weighing about 4 ounces in adulthood. You'd think you'd be carrying a bar of butter home. As tiny as it is, its tail will shock you. It's longer than its body and only helps the little monkey keep balance as it gallops through treetops. They have sharp, claw-shaped nails on their fingers, except for the big toe. It also helps them climbing from tree to tree. Their main diet is gums, and that's why they're sometimes referred to as gumivores. Other things they may eat from time to time are lizards and birds. If you're worried about their teeth, worry not. They have special dental adaptations, but that's not their only flex. Pygmy marmosets have been observed to be the most loyal and romantic species ever. One female marmoset and one male marmoset come together to breed and live together for a lifetime, making sure to groom each other's fur every day. Isn't it sweet? Number 2. Dwarf Lantern Shark When we hear of sharks, our mind makes this picture of a huge predator out for human blood. Well, movies like Jaws didn't really help. If we told you that there's a shark smaller than a human hand, would you believe us? I wouldn't believe me either, but here it is. This is the dwarf lantern shark, the record holder of the world's smallest shark, measuring 7 inches. Unlike other sharks, they have long, flattened heads that occupy one-third of the body. You can identify them from their bulbous eyes that help them in navigating in the dark. It's rarely seen as they swim deep in the water and only appear when caught by fishermen on accident. It gets its name from the light-emitting organs called photophores along their belly and fins. They produce light to attract smaller creatures to prey on. It also helps them camouflage as the fish can't see in the dark waters, making a silhouette. If you think it's a suitable pet, the answer is a big no, unless you've got a very fancy pressurized aquarium. Number 1. Pygmy Seahorse If you thought a chameleon was the master of camouflage, then you should meet the Pygmy Seahorse. Take a close look. I mean, a really close look. Got it? 
Yeah, I know, you could miss it without even knowing. It was accidentally discovered in 1969 by a scientist who was studying corals at that time. When he noticed a pair of pygmy seahorses living in the coral specimen that was in his laboratory. The pygmy seahorse is smaller than a clip and has an average size of 0.55 to 1.06 inches. Since it's so tiny, it depends on its host, the coral, for habitat and even food. Their ability to camouflage is also amazing. Their bodies match the shape and color of the coral. And before you get all psyched up about wanting to own one, you should know that pygmy seahorses are a lot to deal with. You would have to constantly pump plankton through their tanks for both the animals and the soft coral they live on to eat. That's right, the seahorses and the coral eat the microscopic plankton as it passes by. As much as they look cute, that's a lot of work, so unless you're Elon Musk, you should probably pass on that tempting suggestion. See you next time!